So although I realize you could just read this page and figure everything out, I want to be sure you connect what's being said. So the first thing is understanding the difference between z-scores and you know area or probability. In terms of the z-score, I mentioned that it's a number on the outer edge, specifically of the table and the picture or the curve. So here is my z. These numbers going down the left in conjunction with these numbers on the top, those are z-scores. Over here at the edge of the picture, right, not the shaded in part, that is a z-score. Um, if I'm, and oh, also, it tells you, you know, the number of standard deviations away from the mean. Notice that it can be positive or negative. If you can see those tiny little negative numbers. And it's also possible to have a whole number part. It may not. Okay, so then to talk about the area or probability in terms of the curve. The first thing is these are the numbers that are on the inside of the table and the inside of the curve. So this section right here, this is all the area and the same thing kind of goes with the picture that up here, this shaded in part, this is the area. So, or probability, same thing, right? So that's one thing to look at. It's always gonna be a positive number because you'll notice the numbers inside the table will never have signs. They're always going to be positive. And lastly, those numbers, because they're in the middle of the table, will never have a whole number part. Um, we remember, we're talking probability, and probability is always between zero and one. So the only way it would have a whole number part is if it's a one, and we're not really gonna see that in anything we do. So all of these numbers are gonna start with a decimal. And I know that this is a crazy way of showing all this. So the thing I like to point out is this example down here, that if I was to see this question, the area to the left of negative 2.82 is 0 .0024. I mean, right away, I know that the negative 2.82 is my z-score and that the 0 0.024 is probability or area. I mean, I could draw this picture. Because I have a negative whole number thing, I know that it's over here to the left, and it tells me that this area to the left, as I'm drawing really fast and sloppily, is 0 .0024. So that's kind of giving me the picture. Now, it doesn't always help. Sometimes you're gonna see something where somebody might tell you, oh, that they used 0 0.15 and they got 0 .06. You know, just looking at that, I don't know which is the z-score and which is the area, because we do go backwards and forwards on this table. But in the example above, if I see a whole number, it's got to be a z-score. If it's negative, it has to be a z-score. So just some things to help you out.